What is it, Duke Persian Gang? It is your Duke Asuna Gaming 88 here with another news video. In today's news video, I'll be talking to you guys about Luma 3DS 8.0. Let's begin. Roll my mixtape. Now, Luma 3DS 8.0 brought a lot of things to the table. Firstly and foremost, it brought a, a menu where you can actually patch the SM. You can you can patch a lot of the processes on your 3DS. And when they say patch processes, I'm assuming there's going to be a functionality in the future where you can actually patch out certain things where you can mod processes. So modding the 3DS is getting so far in advance where patching processes in the future will probably be one of the bigger things in the, in the hacking community. And you might actually be able to have a modded friends list, um, etc., where you can have unlimited friends. Now, this is just going based on what I already know. I'm not, I'm not presenting any facts or anything. I'm just saying there's a possibility that you can get an extended friends list because of this. Um, it also brings a menu similar to the NTRCFW. It has a debugger, and this debugger it's is very similar. Um, the reason why this debugger is probably better than NTR is because it has a faster connection and it doesn't take up its own you know it doesn't take up its own standalone process alongside other apps this process is ongoing once you enable it so that's and you can actually disable it unlike with NTR um, you have to restart your 3ds to disable NTR CFW so that is a huge gain with this and um, yeah it, it it's really nothing nothing too high of a step up um so they add the process list the process patches menu which i was talking about you can actually take screenshots now um and it, it's a very slow thing but you can take screenshots and then it has the new 3ds menu now i have no clue what it means when it says disable l2 cache set clock rate to now i know what the clock rate might be about i know clock rate um has something to do with speeding up the new Nintendo 3DS's process handler and the debugger options exactly as I said you can enable and de um, disable the debugger which is something that NTR CFW does not do so that is why this is better than NTR CFW now there aren't many new features other than this menu and this menu is it, it may not seem too too big of a thing right now but it is going to be huge in the future, I guarantee. But um, that is it for this video, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, um, please be sure to check out the links in the description. And yeah, the, follow the guide in the description and update to SigHacks 1.2. And you can install Luma 8.0 because it does require SigHacks 1.2, unfortunately. Now, do not update to SigHacks 1.1. That is very unstable and you have a chance of breaking your 3DS. But yeah, back to the outro part. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. Peace out. Have a good one.